Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Huawei Mate B15 laptop. This one is a specific model for this one you can find on the bottom of the laptop. It's an BOH-WAP9R. And in this video I'm going to show you guys go over how to replace the LCD panel for this one. A client brought this one in because the LCD is broken because this they hit it with something so it's just not working just like a distortion of the image and he tried to opening it and he did break the bezel a little bit he cracked the bezel here so he couldn't go further than that i'm going to show you the proper way of replacing the lcd i'm going to leave the link for the lcd panels these are 1080 full hd ips panels and i'll leave the link in the video description for this one all right let's go over the tools that we're going to be using is first a uh, screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to use an iFixit screwdriver set. They have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a torque number five. So a torque number five. And you will need a opening tool. For opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. And um, we need a something kind of chisel metal spatula. So I'm going to be using this one. It's a sharp, it's really tough. And we will need a double sided tape. So I'm going to be using this double sided tape. All right, with all those set, first thing we need to disconnect the battery before we're removing the LCD panel for this one. So we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover here and go ahead and start them from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my video is helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. As I always take requests from my viewers, my subscribers, and I answer questions and try to help you guys out. You guys can just support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So once you remove all the screws, I missed one right here. Now we need to remove the bottom the panel case. So we're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom, just something like that. And we're just going to gently twist it. And we're going to see an opening. We're going to do this all around on the front. I'm going to stick about two or three millimeters in. And I'm just like, I want to hear those click sounds. So we want to do that in the front. Go back corners. And do the sides on the other end. Right. Well, the panel just popped out, so we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna put it in. You can go ahead and clean it up if you want. All right, down here, we're gonna see the inside of the laptop. Actually, this one is expandable with a hard drive, but you will need an adapter for this one. It's kind of with a flexor adapter, it has to be very long flexor, it has to go to the jack right there, it's already been installed. So you can grab a Another bigger SSD 2.5 inch with an adapter. I'll try to get links for this one. Anyway, the point in here is about replacing the panel. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna remove the battery here. We're gonna we're gonna use a plastic or uh, a wood toothpick type here. We're gonna put it under the jack right there, and we're gonna lift it upward towards the ceiling. This jack has to go upward. It's not the sideway. So it will require a little more. It's really tough sometimes. All right, but it, I don't have enough room to move it, pull it up. So I'm gonna remove the battery by removing these two screws right here. Those are Phillips number one, on Phillips number zero. All right, there's one more screw in the middle. Go ahead and remove this one. Once you remove all these screws, now we can lift up the battery, bring it to the side. Now we have more room to play, so now I can put my finger right in here and pull the battery upward. So you want to pull it up. Now you let's put the battery to one side. All right, now that we have disconnected the battery, all right, we're not going to remove the LCD cable from here. We're just going to disconnect the battery or remove it. We're not going to remove the hinges or anything like that. Now, what are we going to do here? It's to remove the bezel, and I see a cracker on the bezel right over here. 
So let's see what happens. The proper way of removing the bezel is to start from one corner. Don't start from the middle on top. Start from here. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the casing and the bezel. And all you want to do, you want to twist it gently in and out. And you want to hear the bezel uh, just getting removed. You want to do the same thing all around to the bottom. Now, when it's a little open in here, you see that opening? So what do you want to do? You want to put your finger in there and just want to lift it and you want to twist it like this. Just twist it around and gently don't pull it up, otherwise you're going to break it the way it is broken in there. So you want to do it in here, same thing. Gently lift it up and work it around, twist it left and right and you want to release those clips. You see, this one is broken right here. So we're going to leave it like that. We're going to continue. I see that he put something in here, even broke the screen lighting in here. It's kind of chipped. So don't stick anything in this side of the screen. All right. So we're going to, again, twisting, twisting, lift it. In here, there might be some adhesive in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this spatula right on the bottom, touching the plastic in here and all around to the back corner now i'm going to open it up a little more back side all the way as much as i can i'm going to remove this one and we're going to lift up the bezel we're going to bring it up so there's a tiny click clips that we want to loosen up you don't need to put a super glue or anything in here it's not noticeable if yours is broken don't worry Uh, again, you will need a LCD, so this is the one I have. Actually, they tell you you must turn off the laptop. Turn off the laptop before installing the LCD. All right, we turn it off and we remove the battery. Now, this LCD, yeah, you see, he tried to even put something bigger in here, even damaged in here. But anyway, this LCD is broken. There's no screws for the LCD, is being held down by a um, double-sided tape to remove it you want to stick the opening tool or the chisel in one corner it's starting remember this lcd is broken so it doesn't matter if it's even more broken so you want to lift it up and you want to run it right there the strips of the adhesive is on this side and in here so you want to move it all the way once it's loose you want to do the same thing on the other side I'm going to move it around here, so bring it in here and do the same thing in this side. And there we have it. Okay, and lift it up. Bring it up. You see this flexor is coming. Make sure you pay attention how the flexor goes in there. Pull it out a little bit so you have more room to play. Now we're going to put it upside down like this. All right, now we're going to remove this tape in here. So just peel it up. There's a lock on top, so you want to lift it up, it's just kind of handle, bring it up, and pull it towards the screen, it just slides in. So you want to slide it back out, and there we have it. So this is your old one. Grab the new one, put it face down, the same way that you lift the other one up, and all you want to do, you want to slide this cable straight right underneath in here. Make sure it goes all the way in. Just like that. I'm going to pull it more, make sure it goes nicely, and the hinge has to go over and nicely, smoothly goes, holds it down. It just has to hug it in. Once that one is hugged in, you can put the same tape back on. This one will prevent the clip to loop getting loose, or you can put a gaffer's tape if you want. And that's it now. All you need to do, oh, before we do anything, we want to put an adhesive tape right all around here. So what are we going to do? We're going to put a strip of the adhesive tape right over here. So make sure that it holds it in place. Okay. You don't have to put a big strip. So you just want it to have it in there so it doesn't move around. So put one tiny one over in here. You can do a better job than me. I mean, the crooked. You can try to remove the old adhesive a little bit. But honestly, it doesn't make any difference.
once you put it in there, wrap it on top. Again, if this is your laptop, you want to do a better job, you can put adhesive from bottom all the way to the top. It makes again no difference. Once you have those in there, all you need to do, it's let me see, you guys can see it in this way. Make sure this flex cable has to go all the way in there. So let's align it. Before we do anything, we could turn it on, make sure that it's powered on and it's working before we put it in it, because you will lose the warranty. So let me get the power bank and see if we can turn it on without connecting the battery. Yep, it's working, so I'm getting the screen right there. And uh, it is loading up. So once I see the screen is rolling, there's no dead pixels or anything like that. And there's a little protection in here we can we have to remove at the end. Alright, Star Wars again. Yeah, everything looks pretty good, pretty neat. So we're gonna power it up and we're gonna continue with installation. So what we want to do, we want to now put it in place, align it in there, run nicely, make sure it's toggled in there. Okay, we're going to put the flex cable nicely inside the, those cracks right there so it's not getting pinched. We want to grab the, we can just push it in here a little bit. Grab the bezel, open up the screen all the way back, and put the bezel all the way in, push it down, make sure you hit those click sounds, uh, go to the sides. Push it in. Again, I'm hoping that yours is not broken like this. Bring it on. Okay. As you hear those nice clicks, you're just pinching them together. And make sure the back end is really close too, nicely. Okay, and pretty much we are done. At the end, all you need to do is just pull this one before you give it to your client or you want to do anything. All right, now I'm going to close it down. You can clean it up the uh, ventilation with a toothbrush. All right, now we're going to grab the battery. Before we put it in place, we're going to to align it right on top of the jack evenly and we're gonna push it down and now we're gonna put the back end of the battery in here slide it down in the rails right this battery has to click in push it nicely make sure it clicks in now we're gonna put the three three screws for the battery and there we have it and the last thing would be down here to put the bottom cover right straight on top. Bring it evenly and just push it down and you should hear a few clicks just all around. Make sure you just pinch it down all the way in there. Now and the last thing down here is to put the uh, torque number 5 screws all around it. Again I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. As always, try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe.